Hey guys, uh, I thought they brought my webcam to set up, but we're gonna do this on a GoPro. Got a brand new tool uh, that we got out of Australia, and it's the SMH2 uh, sim simulator pH meter. Um, so Anthony's gonna be joining us in a minute, but I just wanted to go ahead and open it up for y'all. It's got a nice case, and uh, this is to uh, substitute for the ORP pH uh, simulator and signal generator, um, or uh, monitor and signal generator that we were producing in Aquasol. Um, the difference is that it only has one screen, so you're only able to do one uh, signal at a time, but it does have the input for millivolt as well as output um, so you can uh, both monitor a probe as well as simulate a signal for the controller and uh, it's got a lot of different options in here and we're going to go through them all uh, here shortly but uh, just wanted to show you nice handheld uh, comes with the cable and uh, has its manual. So if you are short a simulator slash monitor and you receive one of these uh, before you start messing with it, go ahead and go through the manual. But also watch this video and we're going to show how to use it. All right, thanks. That tool fixed out. Hey everybody, I'm here with Anthony. We're playing with the new SMH-2 uh, simulator slash pH monitor, uh, which is, as I mentioned, a replacement for uh, the Aquasol simulator and signal monitor. Um, this is a single channel monitor slash generator, so it's not going to be able to do pH and ORP at the same time, but it does the exact same job and it's got some more options on there. So we're just gonna go through how to successfully use this when looking at a controller. So Anthony, I know you have tons of experience with this unit. <laughs> you have more than I do. You have about a thousand uh, milliseconds of more experience than I do on this thing uh, because we've both been playing it with it for all of about 30 seconds. But I figure that's actually probably a good thing for this video because it means that we're not going to be able to fake our way through anything. That's it. Uh, if we are having a problem with it, you should pay attention because you may have the same problem. So uh, we've got it set up. It's on uh, the pH right now, correct? Uh, yeah, so we're doing pH input and uh, uh, put it on. Step to calibrate. Okay. And these actually have fixed outputs of seven and eight. There. Ah. Put it back to zero. Now, if you put it on sweep, this actually allows you to vary the range increment. Awesome. So we're going to go back to and hook it up to the XPC. We'll start by putting it on the output. BNC connector and it's on direct. So pH millivolt out. There we go. pH. Uh, that's input. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> output. There we go. Which is the opposite on ours, I believe the uh, input is to the right and the output's to the left. Right. So there we go. All right, so here we have it on seven. We're gonna move it to eight. This is on step calibrate mode. Now, if you wanna vary the range in increments, you're gonna put it on part range sweep. That allows you, there it is, your sweep. Mm -hmm. Go down to seven. Looks like there's a little bit of lag, but it's not too bad, right? So if the screen isn't matching exactly, but they give it a second, it will get there. There you go. Sweet. Back up to eight. So stepped is going to give them the ability with this knob to switch between, say, six millivolts or seven or eight, right. etc. And then they switch to sweep, and that's going to give them about two pH points of movement that Correct. they can... It can go in. Awesome. Awesome. That's perfect for our use. All right. Now we're going to go with, let's go with millivolt, which is ORP. So we leave the output on this end, but we're going to switch over to our ORP BNC on the controller. 
And then do we need to change any of these settings up there? Check output millivolt. Mm -hmm. All right. Part sweep range. There we go. All right. And so to be in our normal ranges, we need to move this guy somewhere, correct? We need yeah. to go to stepped and if move that's him. That's on this calibrates the pH. Oh, that's just so the pH. That would okay. okay, so but does this sweep knob how far will it go? It's gonna Yeah, it's gonna stop there. And it's gonna stop. So it's gonna go two sixty two. So that's what I'm asking is if we go to stepped, because we need a larger right, right. range. So I'm wondering if uh we need to go into this like yeah, so that gets a step, so it's still got that millivolt right. green up there. And so now we're in that 600 to, oh, I gotta go. Yeah, 600 to 900-ish uh, range in there, or five, okay, yeah. 300 to eight something. Cool, and that, five, what setting yeah. did I have in there? Yeah, the uh, plus 600 millivolt. So that, I guess the midpoint would be 600 millivolt, and it's right. gonna range about 250 millivolts off of that. Six. Oh, that's actually perfect. Six forty for the red board. Seven twenty-five. Then we have eighteen. Awesome. That's perfect for that range. <clears throat> Let me try that. All right, everybody, so that is the SMH2 simulator and monitor from Hoffman, one of our new vendors. Uh, and you may start receiving these in the field. If you've got an Aquasol signal generator, it's perfectly good. Keep using that. We want to keep using those. I love them. Um, unfortunately, we're just not able to continue manufacturing them at cost at this point uh, with coronavirus going on. So um, this is going to be our uh, tool moving forward uh, as those maybe get sundown or we have to add more staff. Um, if you have a problem with your Aquasol signal generator uh, and monitor, please send it into production. Uh, we've got these units to replace it with, so it's not like you're going to be left with nothing, um, but we're also able to uh, remanufacture and repair those signal generators. So appreciate you, uh, Anthony, taking the time to show us how this thing works. Anytime. And uh, now you and I know, and hopefully uh, you guys will learn too. There you go. Bye.